everyone, I am the Dragon Skull, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. Where we left off, um, we, um, and finally met Georgie, the nice police officer from the, from Facebook. And, um, then we met, um, some new, um, interesting characters. We've met a vegan vampire, who is, um, a, a professional model, and a werewolf, who is also, who is a doctor. Those are definitely some interesting characters there. Uh, and um, they were talking about their, their lives and um, ha what the lives of werewolves and vampires are like and it was pretty interesting. Anyway, we're on day three now and uh, we might be getting some new customers in so let us open up shop and, and begin the next day. Oh, we've got a new customer already. An orc girl. Hey, welcome. Alright, uh, what kind of voice should I give her? Um... I think, um, an Undyne-like voice would probably suit her best. Yo. A cup of milk and... A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. I can't do a, um, gravelly woman's voice. It's so... It's really hard to do. Alright, uh... Honey milk, she says. So, um, that would be, um... Milk and two honey. Coming right up. Here we go, honey milk. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, hey, um, hey Ollie. Good of you to be here. Okay, just awkward silence between me and the orc girl. <laughs> she looks like a... She, in, Hey, there's Freya. <laughs> I just noticed that she has like a rugby shirt on, so I'm guessing she's some sort of jock of some kind. Hey, Dragon Skull. Seems like there's a cat. Oh my god, she got in with me! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> there's a little cat on the, on the counter. <laughs> Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. Hey, what are you looking for? Want some milk? Oh my god, she's a cat girl. That, that's even better. <laughs> okay, uh, what, what, what should I give? What voice should I give her? Um, uh, oh, I can't. I don't know. There's so many female characters that it's hard to um, remember all the voices I did for them. Okay. Uh, Hi, barista. It sounds like Freya's voice, but I can't do many female voices, guys, so don't um, give me a lot of hate for it, okay? Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! You look like you've seen a ghost. No, no, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a, a, a Neko Mimi transforming. So that's what she is, a Neko Mimi. Yep, I'm here to lighten up my days by serving coffee to these, these good people. You rarely do that in public. No. I guess you I guess you don't have that many Nekumimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your, your feline form to, to commute, commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Then commuting as a hu- I mean, then commuting in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, no milk and nothing else. Okay then, that's easy to do. So just give her milk. I mean, it makes sense she's a, since she's a cat girl. One cup of milk. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. <laughs> I feel like I'm flirting with her. I mean, if I saw a cat girl like her in real life, I probably would try and flirt with her in real life as well. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? 
I was just giving her a compliment. Oh gosh, she's underage. Oh god, I can hear the police coming. Run! <laughs> uh. How old is she exactly, though? Also, does she have human years or cat years? Maybe she'll, um, tell us later on or something. Thank you for the compliments. It's really good. You're, w you're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone in this land? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. <laughs> Look at her pouty face she's making. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. I like her already. Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Oh, so she's 18 years old. <laughs> she's making her face again. <laughs> I love that, that face. Uh. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you are, for sure. Oh, ho, ho. oh the birds. Oh, the sick birds. Uh, I love this game. I love how it makes me laugh every time. And I really needed this after what I just found out this morning. Which I don't want to go into discussion about right now because I don't want to break the flow of this game. But I will be doing a separate video on that very topic in the future. So I'll talk about it then. Besides, I've been earning a, in a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. Damn. How? Sure, you know. <laughs> She's winked at her. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or, or if you are in danger, blink twice. Really? <laughs> I love that face. And I like how the orc girl is just minding her own business, just texting on her phone, not. Uh, ignoring everything that's just going on here. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on, on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I, do, I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> I don't really, um... Well, I do, but not as not often as everybody else I know. <laughs> snob. <laughs> I like how she's just making fun of her. I really like this cat girl, whatever her name is. Part of the broke, broke, gro broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. <laughs> she's just laying on all the burns. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What? Too broke for a cup of coffee? God damn! <laughs> I'm laughing both in the dialogue and in real life as well. <laughs> I really, really like this girl. <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Oh! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> You gotta stop! I, I can't- you're gonna give me a heart attack with all these birds! Oh god. Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? Well, with her here, I, I, it probably would be. So, what do you want to order? The usual. Okay, so she wants an espresso again. Okay, that's three coffee. One espresso. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you a pop are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Fl Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? started her solo career? Uh-huh. 
that. You're not a lost cause after all, grab bar. <laughs> <laughs> this too is so funny. God, I love her in a bit, this Rachel. I really like her. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, she's so funny, isn't she, Ollie? Drink, drinking milk. Yeah, we can see that, Rachel. I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. <laughs> God, I love this girl. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual cu uh, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay! Achievements unlocked. <laughs> oh my god! I actually got an achievement after after she said that. You guys can't see it, but um, I saw it. I actually got a, an achievement, and just for her saying achievements unlocked. Oh my god! I this is the best game ever. I so. Thank you, Michael, for telling me just to play this game. I'm so glad I'm playing this. This is the most fun I've had playing a game, and I definitely needed it for today. Oh boy, this game is the best. No, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folks program problems. What is a program? <laughs> I had a fight with my father, and so, here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Yeah, we, we saw you transform earlier. That old girl hasn't said a single... Well, she has... She hasn't said anything ever since Rachel and Freya showed up. She's just been looking at her phone this whole time. We don't even know her name. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my pr my profession as something negative. Well, that's um, that's an overprotective father for you, all right. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your, your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. Aww. Oh, poor Rachel. Why don't you just give her a hug now? I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad uh, know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Ooh, new customer. Who is it? Oh, it's Georgie! Good evening, Dra Dragon Skull. Good evening, girls. Girls I've never met before. <laughs> I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Dragon Skull. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you be, can you get a br br brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Sure thing. Okay, um, green tea, lemon and honey. You got it. Cough syrup. Is that is that natural coffee? I should look that up afterwards. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What, what do you call it? Uh, cough syrup? <laughs> of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. 
Yeah. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me. <clears throat> you sure you want to hear it? Yes. <laughs> I like Freya. <laughs> the scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. <laughs> <laughs> God, this whole so far I've, I've been la this is the most I've laughed in this entire episode the moment I start this game. I don't think I've ever laughed this much in, 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 um, in a let's play, yeah, in any let's play I've done, apart from Undertale. Seriously? Even Rachel's laughing. Yeah, today is payday, and I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, and the labor union pr and protest, everything is fine, though. How do you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Oh, she, she's finally, she finally speaks. Okay, um, hey. I can't do a um, gravelly female voice. Thank you for the drink and the, and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. She, she said like five words the whole time she's been here. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do you do that here when you when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go, and this place looks cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. <laughs> No, he's like giving her the burns. But you're underage, right? H how did you know? <laughs> and Freya's just chuckling in the back there. Uh... You can read minds now, old man? I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have, a, have to deal with them every day. Uh, he sounds like my dad when when my sister was um, ar was around 18. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. Oh. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. Oh. That is that is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I heard, I heard you. What? Don't look at me that way. <laughs> You're a cop, old man. Ads like what? I deal with crimes and pub and public safety. How should I, how should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? Um, she can hear you, you know, so it's, it's pointless whispering. You should know. You're, a, you are a father yourself. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is so funny. This is pure gold. Anyone who, is, who has never played this game before, please play it. It is really a really good game. I love it. Bits. Undertale is still my favorite game, but this is a close second. Guys... You know I can hear you, right? 
Yeah, plus she's she's got cat ears, so her hearing is a lot more acute than than humans. Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss. Ra Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I told the others, I've had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh. Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they've learned something about me as well. As long as we don't only leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. Hmm. That's actually good advice, and that's that's actually true. Because the only times I've had arguments with my parents was when I was a little kid. I I don't get any arguments with them nowadays. Maybe that's because we've got to a better understanding. That's good advice. I like that. This is why I like this game so much. It it, it deals it tackles with real life um situations and problems and has real life solutions to it as well. Whoever made this game definitely knows how people will act and talk. So, props to the creator of this game. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solar career? No, before Mum passed away. What happens after? What happens after each fight? Nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. Uh, as, and as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know some someone, even your own blood. I like George, eh? Hey. I wish there were more more cops like him in the in real in the real world. But it but it was never this bad when Mum was around. She's the one who who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mum also had arguments. But your mum acted as a me, as a as a mediator between the two the two of you. That's possible. Now that Mum's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. Aww. And your dad? He lost his best. He, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot, but why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. <laughs> oh, Georgie, you're the you're, you're so good. I like him. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. <laughs> I don't think there's a single character in this game that I don't like yet. Every character I've met so far, I've really grown to like. Well, except for the orc girl, because, well, I didn't properly get to know her yet. But I'm sure in later episodes of this game, we, I, I, I will. And there'll probably be other characters as well. I think this game has, like, a total of 11 characters. Or 12, if you count um, the barista that I'm playing as. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I can't understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. 
It just happened. Maybe I should run even further. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to re rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. That is true. That is very true. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to, to, a, to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now? Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. Bet. You don't need to talk to your father right, right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're, you're safe at home will, will give him some, some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. <laughs> There's a town in Seattle called Neko Town. Oh, that's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Um, of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. Um, I'm riding my bike. In this rain, in the background? I feel sorry for you. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, well, we'll be off then. Thank you, Dragon Skull and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Dragon Skull. This was nice. It's just me and Freya now. And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to, to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm judging a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Or she could just straight up fire you. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. You know, you, know, you never know. I might end up on the, on the chopping block. <laughs> oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. Indeed it does. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. And off she goes. Ah, another successful day done. Spice Lady, a British chocolate drink extremely popular in the 90s. It's got the even got the Union Jack on there. All right, we're done with day three. This one was a lot shorter than the pre than the last two days I've done. Friday, September twenty fifth, twenty twenty. We'll read the newspaper first, and then we'll end the episode. See what's on the evening news. I definitely know that um, the news I got this morning was definitely bad news. Which again, I will explain in a, in another in a separate video. Okay, the Yorkish Workers Union in in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street or Orchestra questioned over their pro -e ecto terrorism lyrics. Werewolf activity imprisoned for owning illegal f fury sedative. Mm, doesn't look good for Gala, who is also ill. Oh, pause. Okay guys, we're going to be ending this episode right here now.
this was another good episode. I think all of these are just going to be good episodes, which I'm happy for. I like this game. I really love it. It's really nice and relaxing. And I definitely need it after um, the news I just got this morning. Which, again, I'm going to be discussing in a um, separate video. Because I don't want to well, talk about it in this video. But this was interesting. In the first episode, we had two couples in, from different races. The, the, the second episode day, we had um, a vampire and a werewolf. And this time, we have a cat girl who has... Um, who is a pop who is famous but um she she has a bad relationship with her father that is definitely interesting really interesting in fact because well as i mentioned before uh, there was once a time when my sister was like that with my dad they're fine now obviously but i can understand what rachel is going through in this one see why i love this game so much it deals with real life problems and and situations and that's what I love about it wish we could have um, seen more of the orc girl but I don't think um, I think we will at some point but she hardly said any words the whole time she was there she was just sitting there in the background hopefully we'll learn more about her story um, sometime in the future of this game but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you all next time. Peace.